Welcome to Heinz Feet on High Places. This trailhead may look kind of familiar to you. I've been here quite a few times. This is going to be my next attempt at knocking out Zealand. It is mid spring, early ish side, and I am still trying to knock this one out. It's about 45 degrees, maybe a little cooler. And a lot of the snow has melted, so we're gonna have some uh, potentially challenging river crossings. I've got snowshoes, I've got spikes, I've got water shoes. Really having to kind of mix it up a little bit. But it's a big weekend, I've got lots planned and really looking forward to some of the adventures of this weekend. Finally getting to Zealand. So come on, let's go do it. The plan for this hike is to start at Zeeland Road parking area and then do a road walk down Zeeland Road past the trailhead to Mount Hale to the Zeeland trailhead. From there, we'll follow the river all the way along the valley floor until we get to where Twinway connects to Ethan Pond Trail. We'll go up Twinway past the Zeeland hut all the way until we get to Z Cliff. We will continue on after a quick break to enjoy the views along the way until we get to the spur trail that splits off Twinway to Zeeland Summit. Zeeland is a completely viewless summit, but we should get some good views at Z Cliff along the way.
there it is. The infamous Zealand sign. And of course, here's the view. But this is the summit that has been defeating me repeatedly. First with weather, so I didn't even make the attempt. And then last time when I tried to do lend a hand and it wasn't broken out and it just wore us both out. So I finally made it. <sighs> All right, now to go back. Just another 10 miles to get back to the car. Should be a piece of cake, right? There is a saying that I like to think about when I'm in the wild places. Nobody's coming, it's up to you. When you're out here in the wild, you, you can use an SOS button. I actually recommend it, I have one. But you have to go into it with the mindset of whatever you get into, you have to get out. with your strength, with your wits, or with your faith. But I always try and go in with the mindset of, I have to do this, and I have to get myself back out. Now, if I find myself in a bad situation, for example, a little while back, I didn't have the camera running, but. I fell into a spruce trap, literally up to my crotch. I was having difficulty extracting myself. And I wondered if I was going to have to hit the butt. I didn't want to. And I probably wouldn't have because I know there's another hiker who's coming behind me who would have helped me. But. I had to go through it with the mindset of nobody's coming, it's up to you. A lot of post holes out here and as a result I got myself out of it. Was it easy? No. Was it even a little painful? Yeah. But I got out and now I'm continuing with my journey. Speaking of post holes, there's another one. So I'm not normally the kind of person that does public service announcements or rants or that kind of thing. But I just wanted to say something. I found a bunch of gear. Now I don't know the circumstances why somebody would simply abandon their gear. I mean it was literally hung up on the side of the trail. I'm packing it all out. It's probably at least 10 pounds worth of stuff. My pack was already heavy and today's a 20 mile day but it's the right thing to do, so that's what I'm doing. And I'll make notices on the Lost and Found on Facebook and let the AMC Center know about it so that if anybody's missing it, they can come get it. back at the parking lot. Oh, what a day. 20 miles. 
and this wasn't the 20 miles like what I did on the Florida trail where it was all flat as you saw so thank you for coming along hope you enjoyed today's video have a blessed day azimuth out